One of the jobs you will often have as a UI UX designer is to create social media graphics and while you're using Adobe XD, why not use it to create these social media graphics. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do just that and I'm going to give you a practice file so you can follow along this tutorial to create not just this graphic, but to adapt it to various different sizes. So let's get started. All right, so here is the practice file for today's tutorial. And if you want to get this practice file, make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. Simply download it to follow along. It's completely free. If you're wondering where you can find these sizes, because you can see we are going to create Instagram post, Instagram story and Facebook post. Well, there are two ways for you to access it. First of all, in the starting screen right here, where all of these default artboards are, you can see Instagram post right here. So you can click to open it up and you can see all of these different various sizes for social media pages. And also while you are inside of your design, you can click the artboard or hit A on your keyboard and you can scroll down and see social media and all of these different sizes are right here and conveniently on the right hand side in pixel values you can see all of the pixel values for different sizes for social media posts now to this design if i open up my uh, default document assets right here you can see that i just have um, these three texts and i have my background and my shoes and I'm going to just help you along and provide this design to you so you can open it up and explore it a bit further. So what we have right here in this default one, if I switch to my layers panel, you can see we have a link in bio, which is this thing right here, and it just contains the text and the text background shape layer. Then we have the text and we have top lines, which are these left and right lines, same like you can see right here where it says bottom lines, so exactly the same. We have these three texts, so special offers, 50% off and Black Friday, which is our sort of message that we want to convey uh, in the social media post. Then we have the shoes and if you want to further uh, adjust these, you can simply ungroup this component by right -clicking, clicking and clicking right here so you can easily manipulate it left and right but if you don't want to there is still a component right here in your document assets so below that the only thing which we have is the frame which is basically the square shape and you can see it has the border of four and we have this background which once again is a component so pretty straightforward pretty simple design but what can you do to adapt it to these various different sizes so let's first select all of them hit ctrl or command c to copy command c or ctrl c to paste it and i'm going to do one more right here so obviously if i unzoom a little bit you can see because this is a square format and this is the basically rectangle but um, wrong way around than this rectangle you will have to make some changes and make some adjustments. So first things first, I'm going to basically uh, enlarge this background a bit and I'm going to hold my shift key and simply enlarge it like this. And I'm going to adjust this frame a little bit to something like this. You can be precise if you want to, but I'm just going to speed through this video just to make it a bit easier for you guys to follow. Then. What we have are these shoes. So you have two options. You can either enlarge the shoes or leave them like this, but I'm going to enlarge them by holding shift alt and left click on my mouse just a little bit and then do the same for the text. So shift alt and left click to enlarge it because I have all of this vertical space available. Then I'm going to use the rectangle, drag and drop one right here, select both of these and click right here to position the text in the center of this space this vertical space and there we go we have adjusted our original design to this size of course this text is a bit bigger so you will obviously have to add more character styles right here and to do that simply select your character style click on the plus right here and it will add it but just make sure to organize them you can simply select them all and new group from selection and you can then adjust it and call this for example instagram story this is facebook post and so on and so forth and because i selected this text and change that i'm going to go up back a little bit and finally let's do the same for this one because this is completely different file format ratio and what i can do right here is do the same so right click ungroup there it is and because link in bio just escaped us a bit i'm going to bring it back right around here then i'm going to select my text position it in the center and nudge it right around here I'm going to use my background and adjust it further to, let's say something like this, maybe 
there we go use the frame adjust it a little bit to roughly around here then right here once again you can be a bit more precise than i am right here you can zoom in and you can basically divide or subtract do whatever you want with this but i'm just going to leave it like this make sure the text is in the center and now finally the shoes so what can you do with the shoes you can position them right here so they go out of page or you can simply uh, lower down the size just a touch nudge them right around here and then move the text below your shoes something like this and then simply slide the text a little bit to here now facebook is something that you don't usually use link in bio so we can perhaps remove this get rid of it and then simply adjust our frame a little bit to the center and there we go we have our consistent look and feel to our social media posts design and you can use as many of these social media pages as you want as many of these sizes as you want and you can browse my freebies on my website i also have some social media cheat sheet there if you are interested it's a bit dated but it's nothing that you cannot find right here so make sure to press artboard or select a and then all of these are located right here so there we go. That's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and really hope that you saw that you can use Adobe XD not just for UI UX design, but also for social media post design while you're at it and while you're using it anyway. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to press that like button and make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every single week right here on the channel all about Adobe XD, UI UX design, passive income techniques and so much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe and until next time, Take care.